Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Codes YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll take you through the basic HTML tags. In the last video we came across what is HTML and its installation. If you haven't watched that video yet, please go through it and you guys will understand what HTML is. In this video tutorial, we'll see what tags are and the most basic types of tags present in HTML. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Before we go through the different tags present in HTML, let's discuss what a tag is. A tag refers to a special word wrapped in angular brackets which are used to define a particular type of content on a web page. After using a tag in an HTML file, the browser decides how to render or display the content on the screen. The list of tags present in HTML is pretty huge. We'll go through some basic tags in today's video and we'll go through the remaining tags while working with them. So let's start with the most basic tag we have in HTML. You can see here we have a basic program written over here. All the tags mentioned over here are mandatory for all HTML programs. The first thing we have here is the doc type as HTML. You can see it over here we have written doc type HTML. So this is not an HTML tag but an instruction for the system about the type of document. Basically we are telling the system that this is going to be an HTML document so that all the browsers can know that this particular document is an HTML document and work accordingly. The next tag we have here is the HTML tag. You can see the HTML tag starts from here and goes till end, right? We have ended this HTML tag at the end of our HTML document. Now this tag is necessary for all HTML documents. If we are working on an HTML document, then this tag is what we are going to need. The HTML tag represents the root and the end of the whole document. This is a container tag that contains all the other tags within it. So this tag is pretty mandatory in all HTML documents. Now the next tag we have here is the head tag. You can see the head tag over here and the ending of this head tag is present over here. We have certain tags present inside this particular tag. Now you can see that this head tag contains meta tags and the title tag, right? You can see the meta tag over here. We have three meta tags and then we have a title tag as well. Now the meta tags doesn't appear on the page itself but only in the pages source code. Meta tags are essentially little content descriptors that help search engines what a web page is all about. Now the next tag we have here is the title tag. The title tag is used to define the title of our web page. Basically we write the name of our web page inside this tag. For example if we see here the title of our web page is document for now. If we change the title of this HTML document and write here something like first document. Fine. Now save the program. Open it with live server. Now you can see it over here that the window name is changed to first document. There is no change in the web page itself. So what we are going to do is we are going to reduce the size of our VS code and the browser. We are going to keep them side by side here. So that any changes we made in this HTML document are reflected in the web browser. Other tags we can use inside the head tag are the style tag, the script tag and the link tag. Now the link tag is used to link any external CSS file to a HTML page. We have to provide the source of that file and then any styling changes we make in that particular file will get reflected in the web page. For that, so let's create a CSS file first. What we are going to do is we are going to create another file over here. Let's name it as style.css. Now this particular file has .css as extension. This will tell the browser that this particular file is a CSS file and we are going to use it for styling purposes. Fine. So we have this style.css over here. Now we are going to link this with our HTML document. For that what we have to do is we have to write here link. So this is the tag. Now we have to write here rel and we have to write here style sheet. Fine. Now the next thing we have to do is to provide the source code of this particular file. So for that we are going to use href. Href is going to be style.css. Now close this link tag. 
Now this rel tag over here specifies the relationship between the current document and the link document. Now you can see it over here we have this rel as a style sheet. This means that this particular file is a style sheet and we are going to use this for styling purpose. Another important tag we have inside the head section is the script tag. This tag is used to declare or use any script within the HTML document. Basically used for JavaScript. So it's not necessary to use this tag within the head section only. We can use it anywhere but for now we are going to use it inside the head tag. The syntax is also easy. We have to write it like script src. Now src is going to be the file name. So let's add another file over here. We'll write first dot js so this will tell the browser that this particular file is a javascript file so we are going to write here inside this now we are going to write first dot js now we have to define the type as well so type is going to be text and the file is a javascript file so we'll write here javascript fine now close this tag and the script tag will closes automatically you can see it over here fine the script tag is closed Keep one thing in mind that we have to close the script tag every time but the link tag is not necessary to close. The next tag we are going to discuss is the body tag. The body tag defines the document's body. Now you can see it over here if we go back to HTML page you can see the body tag over here. Now the body element contains all the content of an HTML document such as headings, paragraphs, images, hyperlinks, tables, lists, etc. There can only be one body element in an HTML document. Any tag we are going to use within the body tag is going to define the structure of a web page. Now the next tag we are going to use is the heading tag. There are six different types of heading tags starting from h1 and goes till h6. h1 refers to the most important heading and h6 refers to the least important. one. The font size of h1 is the largest and the font size of h6 is the smallest among all. So let's use them all here. What we'll do is we'll write here h1. Now inside this h1 we'll write this is heading 1. Save the program and you can see it over here we have a heading in our web page which says this is heading 1. Similarly we have the h2 tag as well. So if we write here h2 and inside this if we write this is heading 2. Save the program. You can see the change in the font size. You can see the difference over here. The font for h1 is greater. And the font for h2 is a bit smaller than h1. Similarly, we have h3. And for h3, we are going to write here this is heading 6, 3. Fine. Then we have h4 as well. So we are going to write here h4. And inside this, we are going to write this is heading 4. Fine. Similarly, we have h5 and h6 as well. So we are going to mention them first here. So we'll write here this is heading 5 and finally we have h6 which is used for heading 6 so we are going to write here this is heading 6 fine save the program and you can see the difference in all the headings over here the size for h1 is the largest and the size for heading 6 is the smallest we can use any of these headings according to our Similarly, we have the paragraph tag as well in HTML. It is used to write a paragraph or any content within the web page. The syntax is simple. We have to use the p tag for that. So if we write here p and now inside this paragraph tag, whatever thing we'll write. So let's say we are writing here. This is a first HTML document. Fine. Now save this program and you can see it over here. We have some text present in the web browser right so these are the most basic html tags we discussed in today's video as we said the list of tags is large and we'll discuss them while working with them so please go through these tags on your own and let us know if you face any issues so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we'll go through html elements if you enjoyed watching this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to help you. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.